Hello, my fellow diseased NPCs. I'm Mr. Church, and uh, today we're going to be building a special train station here, south of Sunny Top Station. Our train station is going to be much better. Hopefully, we're going to trick people into thinking that it belongs in the world. That's it's an unmarked location. It's at this very peaceful and tranquil space next to these traps. Oh shit! Let's yeah, let's get going. So. I put my camp down and it was a little too far that way. I'm gonna move it this way a bit. Everything's fine. You'll see this little shack here we're building right next to. Let's move this out of the way. Put this over by this little shack. Now this shack can also be built in, but that's not the main focus of today's build. Let's not get worried, uh, bogged down with who built where. So I have this little platform built. I'm gonna try to line it up with a track and keep it a little bit far away from the tracks because if you've ever seen a train in real life, it actually sticks out from the tracks a bit, and you don't want it scraping against the building when it gets there. So jump around like a maniac a few times, and then once you're done doing that, the dance of your people, you can then realign this foundation so it actually lines up with the train tracks. That could actually be something of value. Now, I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you the first concept of a front porch using the defensive brick walls, and then I'm going to show you a much easier version that I ended up doing afterwards. Uh, they have a very unique look, each of them do, so depending on which one you want to do, this tutorial will cover both. So I'll start with a hard one, um, because I like to begin my life in misery, and then we can, you know, get things can be better after that so first put these posts down they're only about seven dollars or eight or i don't know just buy them give bethesda your money and i'm sure in the end the game will be finished to a point where it's something that we all enjoy playing insert the comedic laughter here i don't have a laugh track i'm on a budget you can use your imagination so as you can see, the roof piece for that's a little high because they didn't want to make this the height of the wall because that'd be too easy. Uh, so let's we're going to build these roofs over here kind of to measure. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this foundation on the back corner here and kind of eyeball it so that it's on the same level as that front defensive post. What I'm saying doesn't make sense to you, but it will in a moment. So see how it's like too low? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to lower it about that much. So you can kind of measure that much of the wall needs to be lowered down. So we're going to take this and lower it down about that much. So we'll go down to like, I don't know. Is that good, guys? Is that good? And then just build a wall. And then you can lower that roof piece to kind of see if it lines up or not, basically. And please ignore the paparazzi in the sky. That's just something that is a bonus feature for all of you. So that's about right. That's exactly what we wanted. So now the roof is exactly the right height and we can get rid of the other roofs sticking out the back. To do that, you won't be able to just delete it, but you can ch change this so that it's a different type of roof. The paparazzi has fallen. And then just get rid of this stuff. I have to burp. I'll 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 hold it in. Then just uh, just move this this thing here back to how it was. And it's simple as that. You just build this across this way, all the way over to the end to where you found that you put the the defensive wall out too far. And then you're gonna want to see how you can't move this because it's intersecting with the roof. Uh, and you can't just delete that. So what you're going to do is you're going to replace it with a slanting one and then it'll let you delete it because it's not really being held up anymore. And you just move that in and then of course you can put the roof back. Once I, I'm going to walk back and forth a little bit. Why not get some extra exercise? These corona weight is carrying me into the early grave I think. So I'm going to build this back so I have like a guide stone back there in case I fuck up later um but now we're just gonna throw walls up around this thing and you know pretend we've got something going on 
But as you can see, it gives it this weird little flat porch look, which could be good, I guess. Um, some people might like it, how it looks one day. Yeah, so that's good. Also, I just want to say, before you start bitching at me about not using the train car thing that we got, um, I did try, but the problem is, like all the other useless prefabs, they put it on a random concrete pedestal, which obviously I can't sink into the railroad tracks. So, thank you, that makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, very immersive. That's helpful. Yeah, that's all right. I'll just, I'll just build more floating foundations that defy the laws of physics. I don't mind. Who cares? It doesn't matter if we're breaking everyone's immersion in an RPG, does it? Who cares? I mean, they've... Seriously. They've fixed camp bugs that we used to make nice camps because they were worried about immersion. And then they literally give us in the atom shop float, like, foundation underneath a tank as a fast travel tent? That... Yeah. Okay. That's really consistent logic. Thank you. Appreciation from all of us here in the wasteland. So now I'm just gonna burn this slanted piece up here. Uh, because that's the only way to double them up. And, uh, so I'm gonna use a flame trap, put that down. I had to get rid of this roof, because it's in the fucking way. I, obviously, it's kind of like, kind of like me, you know? I'm just, I get in everyone's way. And they're, they're like, why don't you go to your room or something? Stop bothering us. And so I did. And, okay? And that's, that's the end of the story. So, now... What you're going to do is, once you can finally click on that flame trap, that feisty little bitch. And by the way, the double wall you use, the half wall, I, I mean, doesn't matter which one you use, but this one has to be brick for the uh, double wall thing to work. You can, you can replace it with a different one uh, later on, obviously, if you want to. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to run your life. There's... Lots of other people out there to tell you how to run your own life. Um, like, I've got a lot of people that are really willing to help me out with that. Just going to repair that. And now we have double walls here, which we can replace, as you can see. Uh, yeah, this is good. So, if you're wondering what the fuck is going on, I, as I said earlier, we're building a railroad station that will mimic the ones in the game. Hopefully... We can pull something off that'll look believable. But what I want to do is I want to have a little cubby in one corner for the vendor bot guy. And then in the other corner, the bathroom. Uh, so there's a nudist outside. Um, sometimes nudists will wander through. Uh, there's a convention on the mountaintop. They go there and they sing a lot of songs together. It's, it's a joyful experience. Sometimes I wouldn't recommend it for all ages, though. Uh, we're not going to get into that at this point. So what we're going to do is we're breaking this and then we're going to... Um, we're just going to put a doorway down for our little vendor bot man to peer, peer through and sell us wares. What I'm going to put in there is a Collectron rather than one of those vendor bot machines. For a couple of reasons. The vendor bot machine is annoying and makes constant noise that... I don't think a single human being ever asked to listen to. As you can see, though, it doesn't really fit in here. Um, it just says it'll intersect, or it says the furniture will be covered. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little carpet, medium carpet, I should say, and the perfect one to use for Collectron stuff is this rubber utility mat, and you're just going to put that on there as best you can. I'm using the Nuka-Cola Collectron in retrospect. One of the other Collectrons probably would have been better for this because they actually look more like the vendor bots in the game. They're just Protectrons, right? But, I don't know. This guy makes me happy. He reminds me of when Fallout, you know, gave us content that we enjoyed. 
back in Nuka Cola world, when you like got to like do a quest that wasn't about sucking the Brotherhood of Steels, you know, I, I don't want to get bogged down with what what's ha so anyway. I'm just gonna uh, turn this all to brick now because uh, I don't really like the contemporary set. It's just looking too house-like, and this needs to look more utilitarian. I tried a couple of the different windows on it. And this is when I really started to think that maybe the porch idea that I spent 35 hours on probably wasn't the best choice, so I went and changed it. I left it in the... here. You know, one day you might have a building that you want to put this type of porch on. So there you go. Merry Christmas, but I'm getting rid of it. I mean, it looks good with the brick walls, too. It matches it well. I just... it wasn't for me. So what I'm going to do is get rid of it and put on the contemporary porch set. Just, it looks a little bit more immersive uh, for my tastes anyway. So what you're going to do is the same as before. You can't delete these roofs until you change them so that they're not holding each other up basically so you just go down the line replace with the kooky 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 cuckoo cuckoo kaka yeah so wh what are you using your new microphone for mr church cuckoo kaka yeah so anyway you just get rid of all this stuff outside and we're just gonna put these contemporary porches on there if you don't have the contemporary porch set, well, go buy it. That's all That's all there is to it. Anyway, so here we have... Oh, these stairs aren't going to work. There you go. So inside, I've decided... I, looked at, I went and looked at the other train stations. And they have like this kind of metal mesh going on. So I, I changed this to a metal jail thingy. Mesh? Meshy? Uh, yeah. It's good. It's fine. And I put a little uh, ven uh, the cash register up there. Now, we're going to do a double roof for a couple of reasons. Um, several reasons. But what we're going to do is burn the fuck out of the roof. And we're going to put a flat roof underneath this one. This will allow us to A, put in lights a lot easier. B, we're going to put the uh, generators in between the two roofs. And C, it'll allow us to do something really cool with the uh fireplace thing chimney that's what they're called i guess later on so it, it is hard to see when you're in build mode with all those dumb yellow roofs everywhere but just trust your instincts say a few prayers and just go for it i guess that sure nothing what could go wrong i can't jump don't have a jetpack in this character let's burn this and the only thing we're not going to burn are the two roofs over the two rooms. So over the bathroom and over the collectron area are going to be left untouched. Everything else, burn the furious fuck out of. If you will, please. Uh, I think we need to burn one more. Yeah, hard to see when you're in the build mode when all these roofs are burned because when they're in your face, they turn a solid color. Uh, nothing's happening, I guess. Just burn. Burn, goddammit. You may have issues with this. You know? I especially if you're an intellectual. At, like I am. But we can't all be rocket scientists, can we? No. And if you've spent a few minutes in area chat, you'll agree with that statement, I think. Let's throw this on... The slanted roof, please. Please. God damn it. Oh. So, this is tricky. So we're going to burn this. It's going to turn green for no reason. That happens sometimes. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. And we're going to throw a roof down here. What? Hello? What's going to happen? Okay, there we go. Boop. Now make sure the rafters are all running the same direction, please, in the name of God. Um, so this is what it looks like outside of the build zone. This is kind of so you can get an idea of what's going on here. And we want to put a chimney here, right? So you can't build through that that burned roof with many things. It'll say it's intersecting 
it'll be angry, it'll start swearing at you, and screaming profanities. So, what we want to do is we want to take this chimney here and have it kind of sticking out. So we're going to repair this, right? Then we're going to turn it into a flat roof, right? So we can set stuff on top of it. And why end it like so? When we can make this chimney better, happier, joyful, even. Let's put this in the weeds. Let's put this modern fireplace on top of it. And turn it in circles for an hour until it lets you put it so the tubey bit is over the chimney of the lodge fireplace and then find some sinky dirt there's some by the tracks and just use the sinking method where you sink it down and it pops up to merge this down inside there which will allow us to have a little bit of smoke coming out of there and it doesn't matter what it looks like on the bottom because that's going to be hidden by the roof so now I'm going to find my Nuka Shine thingies, put them down here. They're about the same size, so it kind of sells this idea that we've got, you know, smoke holes in stuff. And this isn't my idea. Let's not let's not crucify me in the in the comment section. This I didn't come up with this. Okay? And I never said I did. So why don't you back off? Okay? Please, God, Jesus Christ. Anyway, so just pull that as close as you can in, uh, like so, I guess. And then we just take this, replace it, change it back to this, and there we have it. A chimney that is glorious um, with smoke coming out of it. And kind of smoking like the rest of our brain, which is fine. There's nothing to worry about there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this quiet silent generator which is too clean for the build but it's hidden anyway so who cares and we're just gonna put a shit ton down we don't really need that many but you know let's just let's just put way too many generators down why not everyone else does you know let's put four fusion core generators down i'm sure we're gonna need 400 power one day somehow uh it's a little hard to hook the wires up i'll admit but this will give us power to the whole structure without having to worry about those dreadful things now, if you have something that needs direct line of power, like if I actually worried about hooking up my vendor machine, then this would be the time to grab a carpet and do the carpet trick to get a conduit downstairs somewhere discreet so that when everything's buttoned up up here, you don't have to worry about that ever again. But there, you just do that. Looks like that outside of build zone, weird. Well, then we come over here, repair it. And it's all hidden away inside there. We can get rid of this. I don't know why that's there. And yeah, uh, let's just boop. And no, that was too much. That was too far. Boop. And this is just like, yeah, started decorating in here. <laughs> Um, one more thing to show using the sink merge. So, I, uh, I took this, right? And I hovered it over this, filled it with quantums, and sunk away. Uh, you will notice, though, that I've got the old and the new one. I wanted to put these in the old one because everything's a little worn down here. But the issue is the old Nuka-Cola machine doesn't sink. Or it stays sunken down. You can't, you can't merge with it. I tried many different things. I tried blowing it up. I tried sink merge. I tried blowing up the quantum machine thing. Nothing wanted to work. But this works, so I went with it. See, this, it doesn't, it doesn't. It just, it sinks down into the ground and stays there, which is good for building, but not good for merging. So... I just use this. It's too clean, but I will accept it for now. And it's hilarious watching people try to grab those out of there. Uh, but this is the finished product. And I spent a lot of time just looking at other train stations that were around. 
trying to get a thing. I put this uh, vendor sh out here so that it would kind of mimic the script machines. Um, just random stuff around, because I know there's little signs of camping outside the other train stations. If you think about it, that's where a lot of people are going to be waiting for, like, their train to come when everything goes to shit. And then they just kind of like, okay, now what are we going to do? So I have, like, a mannequin there trying to buy stuff. I figure if you walk into a train station and there's a player there, they're usually standing in front of the vendor bot. But I put all the workbenches that you would want, really. Um, and I've got this, of course, which is cool, in my opinion. And then we've got the bathroom back here. I shoved the chems bench in here because there's a lot of space. I've got the special machine, the workbench. I got meat shit piled up junk outside it fortifications extra doors leaning against the wall there wooden bits and bobs i had a lot of fun making this i hope you guys have fun watching this and uh thank you for everyone that supports me thank you so much to my patrons you guys are awesome i love you all thank you to mr wolf here for slaying me i will see you all in the next video.